Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new here. Today is currently a Sunday um, and it is about 20 past 11. Please mind all my spots. I was drinking last night I feel like my skin is suffering today because of it. But for today's video I was thinking I would do like a productive Sunday kind of vlog. Uh, me and Jay need to go to Ikea, we need to get a couple of bits and we need to go to like a garden centre because we need to get a plant pot for our big plant because it's getting so big now it just needs a bigger pot. We're going to cook a roast dinner later as well. It's going to be our first roast dinner so hopefully it goes well. Um, but right now I am about to put a little bit of, well I'm not going to really put makeup on, I just need to put brow gel in and maybe a bit of concealer on my spots just so it didn't look as red. <laughs> yeah, I need to get on and do the makeup. We're going to cook a full breakfast, well not a full breakfast actually, I think we're going to cook like breakfast bits like hash browns, bacon, sausage and stuff and just put it in a baguette. Maybe I'll just tell you the makeup bits I'm using quickly. Oh my god, that just broke. I'm sorry, but look at that little dot of glue to hold it in. How stupid is that? This is from the brand Refi. That's going to fall out every time. Maybe I'll get Joe to fix all it in or something. But it's the Refi... Yeah, it's the Refi cream bronzer and sand. But it's literally just broke, and I cannot believe how little a glue. No, but I love it so good. It looks so healthy on your skin and everything. I never used to use cream bronzer, but I use it all the time now. I just literally dab it into my skin. This probably isn't the right way to do it, but this is the way that works for me. I literally never wear makeup. And if I do, I think, oh, I'm going to do a full face and everything. And when it comes to doing my makeup, I'm just like, oh, chuck a bit of bronzer on, curl my lashes, put brow gel on. I don't know how this is going to work today because I'm so frightened of vlogging right now. I don't know, I'll just take the dogs on and walk when we get the package on. No, because obviously we're going shopping and stuff. I want to show you that, but it's just... Yeah. I'll just have to run to the other end of the shop quickly and talk to the camera. <laughs> then for my actual bronzer... I'm going to use the matte Give Me Sun. Why is this, like, nothing is focusing? Um, yeah, it's just the matte Give Me Sun. This is a bit dark for me at the minute. I have got Hula Bronzer as well. Hula Bronzer? Benefit Hula Bronzer? Yeah, that's right. Um, but, I don't know, I just want to use this. And this is the first thing I've seen, so... I'm thinking I'm going to put a bit of concealer on. Um, I probably should have, did, should have did that before, but... To be fair, my dark circles don't look too bad today, do they? Mm, they do look a bit purple, actually. I'm using the viewfinder as a mirror right now. Maybe I should just get my mirror right. Do you feel like that really brightens it up? Wow, that actually does. That is, um, I forgot what to say, what concealer that is. That is the Holly Boone Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer. There we go. And I use shade... Love that concealer. And next I'm going to use the Holly Boone Soft Focus Loose Powder. I use it in the shade Fair. Love this powder, but... I hate the packaging of it because it's all like loose in the top whenever you open it powder just goes everywhere like it's like all around the side of it like around there and then when you put it back on like powder like poofs into the air it gets a bit messy I've got the Too Faced um, Born This Way setting powder um, in translucent but I don't ever use it anymore I don't know why Nothing's wrong with it. I've literally used... I've used quite a lot of it, actually. Um, yeah, nothing's wrong with it. And it's got way better packaging because it's got that little lid on. I want to curl my eyelashes, but it's never a good idea to curl your eyelashes the day after you've been wearing eyel eyelashes. Like, false eyelashes. There's glue on my... Like, 
lid of it. Um, and obviously when you curl your eyelashes. Well, I've said curl eyelashes like a billion times. Let's calm down a little bit. But when you do, the eyelash curler sticks to the glue and then it ends up like ripping your eyelashes out and stuff. Oh my god, I just tip powder in my bed. Right, next I'm going to use the Refi. It's like the Bry Gel. <clears throat> I don't know the actual name of, name of it, but you get the Bry Gel and then you get like the brush on top. It's not like a brow gel though, it's like, it's like, it gives you the effect of like soap brows. Really good. Makes such a difference. I'll do one of my brows and then I'll show you like the difference of it. And you just use like the thick bristle, like spooly thing. you see that? 100% recommend. Every time I put this on in front of people as well, they're always like, oh my god, like, what have you used on your brows? They look so much thicker. Sometimes I want to put something on my eyelashes to make them look a bit darker, but I don't want to put black mascara on, so I always just use my eyebrow gel because it adds a bit of um darkness to them but sometimes black is a bit too much when i'm not wearing that much makeup and that is my makeup done this is the outfit that i'm wearing today i'm wearing these jeans from primark which i've had to do the tiktok loop thing um to make them smaller because they were too big around the waist it just makes it a bit baggy here so it looks a bit unflattering but these were £4 in the clearance from Primark. And now I'm just wearing the top from Pretty Little Thing that I showed in my other video. I love it. It fits really nice. Love the sleeve length and everything. But the neck just keeps like dropping like that. And I hate it. I want it to be really high. So I have to keep pulling it down at the back and stuff. But it was cheap so I can't really complain. Jo is cooking us a breakfast. I'll show you what we're cooking. Oh, I need to make a coffee. Got sausages and hash browns in there. And then we're gonna have it in the tiger baguette that I bought. And then I think we're gonna have a bit of bacon as well. Um, and then what are we gonna do? Have some eggs as well. I'm gonna quickly make an iced coffee actually. That's what I'm gonna do now because I really, really need a coffee. Anyway. Yeah, I don't know if I've explained, but we're going home, we're shopping because we need to get some cushion covers and stuff and we need to go get some new plant pots because we want to repot all our house plants. I think I did explain this actually. Maybe I did. But um, someone who Joe works with, give him this. Works for. Works for. A customer. Give him this. And we've already got one of these plants already in a big pot so we're going to put two into one pot and we need to put more soil in there she gave me that one as well this one? yeah is she? yeah she gave me both of them <laughs> do you want ice coffee? oh be rude not to oh. I'm going to make it ice coffee and then I'll come back look how good these ice coffees look I just need to add some ice at all. I don't know if I put them back. Yeah, you can see them a little bit there. Now. Look at these ice cubes as well. They're so good because you can fit them into cans and bottles. Um, I got this ice tray from Donnell. And it was a pound. I think you need a straw of iced coffee. Mm. Currently sat editing yesterday's video and... Joe brings this over. How am I meant to eat that? Breakfast for kings. That is not even going to close. I'm going to have to take the sausages out because that is undoable. Min's ready. You ready, Min? Ready for the breakfast? I'm going to attempt to eat this now. Drink my iced coffee. 
I'm currently uploading some pictures to Instagram. I forgot to mention that my North Face bag came in the post. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, it came yesterday before I went out, so I didn't have a chance to show you in yesterday's video, but this is it. And then it's got a little badge on the back as well. I think this is £22 full price. Obviously, when I did my order, I got 20% off, so. Oh, look how cute. I just love the colours of it as well. It's so nice. Love it. It's so cute. I originally bought it because I need a bag that will fit my laptop in because all mine are like little clutch bags. And fits in there. Perfect. Like, that is my laptop in there. We're just about to leave, but we're going to make a list quickly of what we need to buy because we need to know what plant pots we need for what plants and stuff. Um, right, so we need a bigger pot for that big tree one. Yeah, you want a wooden one, then, didn't you? No, I didn't, I didn't definitely, but if there is one, then I'll get that, but I wouldn't mind a big white one okay. as well. Um, medium pot for the little green one. Medium pot for bushy green one the spider one spe stem and the one that's in and then the one on my bed to the table that's stem where that is yeah. <laughs> um right is that all we need then just two plant pots no and, uh, i feel like we needed more like fishing covers yeah no i know that that's like yeah, I ikea though to us i wouldn't be surprised if ikea had plant pots well, yeah, they they were. Not, yeah, so should we just go to Ikea and maybe yeah. just get plant pots there? Can we walk in at the exit or something? <laughs> well, I, I pre-ordered the stuff that we need to get anyway, so we need to go in there and get the stuff. Joe hates Ikea, I love Ikea. You told me you pre-ordered Yeah, but it. I didn't, did I? Because no. I, I tried to do it Thursday and it said if you pre-order you got to pick it up. By like Friday or something. I can't remember what it said. Oh. Right, so that's all we need to get actually. Two plant pots, so I yeah. didn't really need to make a list for that. No, this whole video is pointless. Now this is dedication. We're on our way to Ikea and I'm sat here in the van. That's gonna give me copyright. Um, and I am sat it in. We're here. Aren't you so happy? <laughs> We've just left IKEA and the bill came to £177 Perfect. when we had to go in there for two things. So Joe's ecstatic because he was the one who paid for it. <laughs> uh, there's always a way. I feel like with Ikea though, because it's so far away and because it's like so big, once you're there you need to get everything you need. You know? Just anything you see that you need, get it. Because Ikea trips, you, you don't... Like, it ain't like you can just pop to it, like you pop to B&M or like... Home sense. You need to drive far, you need to make sure you have a big like car or whatever. So yeah. We just, I just seen so many things I needed that wasn't on my list. I think I got like one thing that was on my list as well. We've just got back from Ikea. This is all our stuff that we got. In there, got that there. And we are just about to repot all our plants. Um, so what we did is we bought this white pot to put this green plant in because it just needs to be a wider pot for the roots then we're going to actually pot that into that basket um, we're going to put that plant in there that plant in there and then that plant in in there because we won't have these on our bedside tables because i did say i wanted matching um but you i'll show you them all once we're all done That is going to be so hard to repot. Oh. oh, that looks really packed in there. It is. <laughs> we'll we um just cut this pot open. 
look how big the roots are. That is ridiculous. <laughs> I don't think I mentioned before um, when we got back, but we decided not to cook a rice today because we ended up going out later and coming back later than what we thought. So I am just in the middle of cooking chicken burgers. They are the bird's eye chicken quarter pounder. They are so good because I don't really like beef burgers. Like I'll eat it if it's there, but I prefer chicken burgers. So if you're ever on the hunt for some good chicken burgers, these are so good. And they're pretty much always on offer in Tesco, like on club car price as well. We've also got sausages left from breakfast this morning. I think Min is expecting to have a sausage right now. But you're not Min. You're not having a, bur a sausage. Are you Min's? <laughs> oh, Min's. Don't break my camera though. Don't break my camera, you little stinky. I just finished dishing up the tea. This is what it looks like. Um, I just put some lettuce, tomato, and mayo in my burger. And I've got some waffle fries. They're from Aldi, actually. They're really, really cheap for the bag. So good. Like, really, really good. Um, and I just got a couple of Joe's sweet potato fries because I really want to see what they taste like, see if I like them. But I am actually going to chuck some peri salt over the waffle fries. Just got some peri peri salt. Chuck some salt over them. I really can't remember what I've said in this video so far but we have literally bought so much from Ikea and repotted all the plants. We finished doing that by the way. They look really good in their new pots. They suit them so well. Um, but yeah, after a vet tea, I think Joe's gonna sit down and play his PlayStation for a bit. And I'm gonna put all our new stuff out in the house. I need to proper vacuum and mop. Because I don't know whether you've watched the video previous, but I literally like cleaned everything and that was literally yesterday. But obviously when this video goes up to you watching this, it ain't gonna be yesterday. But anyway, yesterday for me, I cleaned the container and everything reorganized and there was just a couple of bits that I couldn't get done because I didn't have enough time. So I'm gonna finish all that off today, put all the clean bedding on, that's in the tumble dryer now. And yeah, just put all our new stuff out because we've got, we've got a lot. We've got loads of new sofa cushions. We've got bottles to put in the fridge, new salt and pepper shakers that I need to fill up. Just like bits like that, I need to put, put all that out and then put all our new plants in the places that we want them and stuff. I've just put some comfy like knit trousers on. They're from Bershka actually. They're really nice. They've got like these pockets here. They're like really high waisted. <laughs> yeah, I've just put some comfy trousers on and I just thought I'd sit down and I would show you the bits that we bought from Ikea. Obviously you can't show you the plant pots because we've already pa um, potted all of them. That's better. Yeah, once I've put all the plants where we need to go and stuff, I'll show you the plant pots, I'll tell you how much they are and stuff. But, I'm gonna show you what we bought. Have I got a receipt here? No, I think the receipt is in Joe's van, so I can't, I'll try to remember prices, but I, w I won't be able to remember everything. So the first thing we bought were two of these bottles with like the cork stop in the top because we wanna, we have, we normally keep a water bottle in our fridge at all times with a little stop on the top. But it's, it goes really thin at the top so when you're like pouring it into the glass the water splashes everywhere. So we bought two of these. The reason we bought two is because we wanna have water in one and then I wanna make a lemon water in the other because I do drink lemon water sometimes. Um, and I just thought it'd be nice because it can like, I think infuse, I think that's the right word. It can do that in the fridge. We also got a pack of dishcloths because the dishcloths that we use is the yellow, they're just like yellow dishcloths. But those, obviously you use them and then you chuck them after they get dirty, but these you can chuck in the wash. Uh, so I just thought it'd be a bit better. Uh, but it was £2.50 for a pack of two. Next thing we got was this white tub. If you watch my previous video, you would have seen that I've got these in my cleaning cupboard with all my cleaning stuff stood in them but there's space for another one to go in there um I didn't really need it to put in there because the stuff standing in the cupboard is fine but I just thought with four of them it just might look a bit neater because it's like all the same so yeah I've grabbed another one of them I think it was three pound for that and then we got this throw 
I don't know if it's white to be honest. It doesn't actually say. I don't know whether it's like an off-white, I'm not too sure, but it's like that, um, what's that material called? Well, obviously it's like knitted, but I think it's, I want to say waffle. Joe? What was that material we were talking about in the shop and I kept getting it wrong? Was it waffle? Yeah, waffle. Yeah, I think it's waffle material, but we bought this to put on the sofa. I don't know how well that's going to go because obviously with the dogs coming in and out of the house and jumping on the sofa with this white throw, that probably isn't going to be the best, actually. I don't really think of it. Next thing I bought was a pack of flannels because... Uh, the flannels that I've got right now are like white and grey, they're like, they've got like little squares in them. Uh, but I want to make all my towels and everything all white because when I'm doing a wash I can just chuck everything into one. Uh, and it just makes it easier because it just makes it one load. Uh, so I'm trying to gradually make it all white. So i got some white flannels to replace the white and grey ones. I probably will keep the white and grey ones but... Yeah, just wanted to make them all white. And you get four in here. And I think these were £2.50. Yeah, they're they're like kind of thin. But I don't think that really made a difference. Because it's literally just to wipe my face. Like washing it and stuff. Next thing we bought was salt and pepper grinders. The reason I bought these was because our salt and pepper grinders are on my spice rack at the minute and it's taken up a lot of space. I have got another one in the cupboard that's spare anyway, so if I need it I can put it up. But yeah, because they're like wide at the bottom, they take up a lot of space on my spice racks. But I think I'm going to decant them and put them in here instead. And then, when I was walking around, I seen this little like wooden tray thing. Um... I don't really know what it's for, but I, th I think they have some like brown jars on them. You could buy brown jars, but salt and pepper shakers stand on there really well. Uh, so I bought that to go on there, and I'm gonna have it in. I'm gonna change my kitchen around a little bit, but I'm gonna have it in the corner, and then have my oils behind it. But when I do that in a minute, I'll show you and everything. Then I bought three cushion covers. Uh, they're 65 by 65, and they're just thick. Like, a velour like charcoal grey the reason i bought these is because when we first bought our sofa obviously they come with cushions to put at the back of it but they're not the comfiest because they're just like normal you know cushion inserts and they look a bit the sofa looks a bit like officey at the minute um, yeah we just wanted to make, have some different size cushions on there and everything so we bought some duck feather cushions from dunelm It'll just be so much more plush at the back because we do actually lay on our sofa a lot to watch TV because we haven't got a TV in the bedroom. We decided against it because we want to like have the living room and then be able to go to bed. Just to go to bed, if you know what I mean. Next thing we bought was this is actually a rug. Um it's like them kind of it's like cream and like charcoal grey. Uh and this was ten pounds and it is massive. So what we're gonna do is have it like halfway underneath our bed and have it coming out on the sides because uh, the rug that we've got so far is like a, like it's like a shaggy like fluffy cream one but stuff sticks to it so bad so yeah we got this one to replace that next thing we got was this like cream small rug because um, I think I'm going to put it in front of this mirror here because the dog bowls go in front of it down here and I thought like with the plants like halfway on it and then the, the dog bowls it just makes it like a little area and I think all the t like carpet textures and stuff just makes it feel a bit more homey and like cosy in here and that was four pound. The next thing we got is this white bath sheet it's like that um waffle material again but on the other side is like the towel material I absolutely love this towel and look how big it is don't know whether you're gonna be able to see but like that's the top of me there and it goes into there and obviously I want to make all my towels I have already got two white towels and I think we've got two towels that are like other colors uh, so we just bought this while we we're there because it was so big and it was 12 pounds the last actually no this isn't the last thing we got the next thing we got was this doormat 
quite big actually and I think it was £13 just because yesterday when I was cleaning I chucked away our old doormat because it was grubby and it was falling apart a little bit so we got a new one and then the next thing I got was some like stoppers that go into like oil bottles uh, because I want to have my oils on the side with the salt and peppers like I said so I bought these, but I need to do can all the oils and stuff in a minute, so I'll show you them when we do that. Mm. But that is pretty much everything we bought. Joe is currently hanging up the washing. You gonna do the washing up after? <laughs> now it's time to change the kitchen bits around. Going all to different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed You like the fast life You like to drive and get down and dirty I got the bad guy You want some love, you like when you feel like calling me Right, that's what she wrote down quite well able to fill it and it back on. And that is full. Alright. I've sorted the salt and pepper out so now I need to decant the oils. What I did with this one is this was just a glass bottle. These are the little oil things by the way. Just has a little pour. I need to cut this off actually. There we go. So yeah, don't need to decant that one. This one's just a garlic infused oil. Um, so I'm going to give it a wipe down before I put it over there because it's a bit greasy. Right, now I just need to put this oil into this glass bottle. This had um, white wine vinegar in it, but I just tipped that out because the bottle of it only had like, that much in it. So I can always buy a new one at Tesco. And then this extra virgin olive oil I buy from Aldi. I've got another bottle of this in the cupboard actually, so I can fill it all the way up. Right, I think that'll be perfect for that. Yeah, and then these you just literally stick into the top of it. Yeah. That looks quite cute. At least I can have my oils on the side now. I like that. Where I swirled this out and it was still a bit wet on the inside, like the peppers stick in. So when I'm at Aldi next, I am just going to buy a pot of that. Or I might just buy a big pot of pepper. That's for like refillable things. And then I'll like, empty this and clean this out and refill it. But for now, I still need a bit of water in the pepper. Right, now, oh my God, I'm going to show you what it looks like. So it looks a state in here at the minute. So I got all this out on the side, all that out, all that down there, all the home stuff's all spread all over the floor. I still need to go in and make the bed. I just got a drawer open, I've got a cupboard open, got to put that washing away. Still got to organise all the cups. So I've still got so much to do. Just finished tidying these. It's really annoying how that cup and that cup isn't the same because the rest of them are like the same. And I did have a chopping board up on that scaffold plank behind that. But you couldn't really see it anyway, so I put it over here and I thought it added to it. Uh, what now? I literally don't know where to start because it's so messy in here. Right, I might vacuum by the mirror and stuff so I can put all the dog stuff down. I just vacuumed that little area and I'm just about to mop it before I put the new little rug down. But I thought I'd just show you this mop. It's from a brand... The leader, but you have this little thing here. You put water in there and then your floor cleaner, and then it's got uh, reusable mop heads that you just chuck in the wash. But I just thought if you've got a, a small space and you've got nowhere to keep your mop or anything like us, get one of these. I need to fill this up now anyway because it's like nearly empty. <laughs> if anyone wants to know, I use that floor cleaner. It smells so good. It smells like really strong, fresh cotton. It's called Water Lily. Water lily wave. Wearing trances, going all to different places, different planets.
Without your aura, pass me by Losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty-handed You like the fast life You like to drive, get down and dirty Act like the bad guy You want some love, you like when you feel like calling me on the sofa so we've put the new cushions on the sofa we've got 72 by 72 cushions from Dunelm the duck feather ones and then we've got the 65 by 65 pillowcases from Ikea um, because you meant to get bigger pillows to go in the pillowcases because it fills them out more but they're still quite like saggy in the pillowcases yeah and then put the little mat down here I can't believe this mat was only like four pound and also when the dogs drink water they always splash it over the floor so I guess it protects the floors a little bit but Joe is currently making the bed. Like a good little girl he is. <laughs> I can't wait to get him this bed tonight with fresh bed in. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, we bought these cushions from Dunelm. But they're just like where the what like knitting is so hard on the front on the back is like saggy. I don't know, they're just weird, uh, and we didn't like them on the sofa, I don't think they go. I think what we're going to do is get, I don't know if you can see, like the colour of the fro. I think we're going to get two cushion covers that colour to go on the like grey pillows that match the sofa. Take the pillows off. Yeah. I just put on. The pillows <laughs> gotta go on after. Do you, do you not know anything? Honestly. <sighs> right, I'm gonna make the bed and then I'll come back. I have now made the bed. Um, so that was all done. And I vacuumed the bedroom because I'm gonna put the rug out. Uh, and Joe has just gone to his van to get his drill because we're going to put this like netted thing up which you put a plant pot in the bottom and it hangs because the cream matches the blanket really well. Different places, different planets Watch your aura pass me by Losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances Empty-handed yeah, just put the rug down, but I'm going to spray some of the Lenore crease releaser on it because it is a bit creased. It'll make it smell really nice as well. Screen? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Sorry, Mum. <laughs> right, we just put... Don't take no notice of all the 20 million holes in our ceilings. We couldn't find the... Um... Choice. Yeah, so I'll have to fill that in tomorrow. I'm so scared this screw is going to uh, go straight mate, out honestly. Yeah. Or not. Why is it all blurry? <laughs> there you go. There you go. That looks 
looks so mm. nice. I love that. We have now finished putting the plant up and it looks so good. That space looks so nice now. It looks so much more homey. The plant pot is from HomeSense. I'm pretty sure it was like three pound. Uh, the plants are just from garden centers. I can't, what's the plant called? Do you know? A calathea. A calathea. That's the kind of plant it is. And then they're red on the bottom. So yeah, that is all done now. But we are just changing this wood piece around because obviously it was scratched on one side. So we're, can I just turn your PlayStation off because it's so loud. Um, yeah, we're just swapping it around and then we're just going to fill in the tiny little holes when it's up on this side and just put some brown pen on it or something. And I think that'll do it because, yeah, we're going to try and make it last as long as we can because we don't really want to buy another one. It's just a bit of a waste of money because we've only had this a couple of months, like since we moved in. So I think we're going to do that. Now, yeah, you like it? Yeah. I do think it needs to be pushed underneath the bed a little bit more. You know what I mean? So it isn't as out here. Oh, the creases have actually gone down a little bit now. I sprayed the crease remover on there. Yes, yeah, this is what the bedroom looks like. Yeah, this is our living room. I love it now. It looks so much more comfy. Um, and the kitchen. I changed a couple bits since I last filmed. So I put my pasta there because I didn't like it on the shelf. I was really unsure about it. Then obviously the wood bit with the oil. These I need to clean out um, and then put them in the fridge. I put our utensils pot there, which is where we first originally had it when we moved in. Um, I just think it suits that corner well because it's quite big and I think that corner looks really empty with nothing there. Put some other mugs up. I think we could do with some pictures up here. Yeah. Like some like prints maybe in like a wooden frame or something i'm not too sure and then i just put the dog treat jar there i think that's about it for today i think we're gonna go have a shower sit in our new living room and watch a film your hair is all separated again yeah we're gonna go shower and then we're gonna sit on the sofa and watch a film what's the time oh my god it's 10 o'clock it. so yeah we're gonna head off now thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you in my next video bye <laughs> bye 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 bye, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs>